Hi guys, welcome to my new After Effects video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this morphing animation with After Effects. Let's get started. So, vectors from philippit.com, I will add download link and project files. I have two objects. Let's see layers. This is layer ones, like this. And this is layers 2, left object. Okay, so let's select this layer 1 object, move to center, and select this layers 2, go to click this color icon, and change color green. And let's move to right, okay, and hide layers. Then go to layer, new, and null object. This is null object for control all these objects. Change name, controller. And our anchor point is up to left. Let's hold control and double click this icon for move to anchor point center. Click station tool and move to here. Okay. Then select this layers one, pair onto this controller. Select this controller, let's move to down, go to here, let's enable title action save and let's press P, make new passing J frame for this controller null object and let's go to here, move to up this object and go to 10 J frame for shortcut you can use hold shift press page down in the keyboard and move to down this object Go to 10k frame again, move to up, go to 10k frame, move to down. Then select k frames, make EZs or F9. Let's see. Okay, nice. So in this time, hold shape, press air, make rotation k frame and change rotation like this. Go to here, change rotation like this and go to here change minus 5 go to here change to that 5 and finally go to last keyframe change 0 select keyframes make easy let's see okay very good so in this time select this controller let's make new passing keyframe go to here move to down and go to back, make rotation keyframe. frame, go to here, change rotation like this, let's see. And go to 10 keyframe, frame, move to up and change rotation like this. Let's see again. Okay, nice. Select keyframes, frames, move to right and this keyframe frame to move to right. And select these two keyframes. Go to graph editor. Let's see graphs. Okay, select this keyframe. Move to left. Let's see. Okay. And select this rotation. Select this graph. Move to left. Okay, nice. And select these keyframes. Let's move to left nice and select this select this graph let's move to left okay nice so let's back to shape frame and in this time let's move to down for bones effect okay nice and in this time, let's change this rotation like this. Go to here, change back, and go to 5K frames, change 180. Let's see. Nice. So in this time, let's go to first second. And select this layers 1, 
Go to Windows, open Animation Composer 3. Let's open Starter Preset, open to the layers and select these all layers, one layers. Click Overshot Scale, click in. Close window, let's see. Okay, let's move to right. Nice, and let's select layers, make random animation, like this. Let's see, okay, good. And let's move to right this tier in for slow animation. And this. Let's see. Okay, good. Let's move to right these some layers. Okay, nice. So I want to add auto animation in this object. Let's select this one layers and in this time, in this time, let's go to edit split layer or control shift D and delete layers. Then select all these layers, go to Window, open Animation Composer 3 again, go to Browse, open Starter Preset and to the layer, select this Overshot Scale and click Out. Let's close Window Animation Composer 3, let's see. Okay, let's select these layers and move to right and let's cut layers for random animation let's see okay let's move to right and this move to right okay select this main object and let's move to right Okay, let's move to left again. Let's move to left. Let's see. Okay, nice. So in this time, select this layers two. Let's enable and move to here and move to center go to window open animation composer 3 and open starter pack again to the layer select this overshot scale and click in let's click ok and so in this time select this layer 1 let's lock layers and select this layer 2 and select all two layers pair onto this control layer let's see Okay, let's make random layers for random animation. Let's see. Okay, let's move to right these tier ins for slow animation. Okay, let's see. Nice, and select this background layer. Let's move to left. Okay, nice. So in this time, let's select these layers, press air and change rotation like this. Okay. Press air for close rotation. Let's see. Nice. So let's unlock this one layers and select this layer main layer let's move to left let's see okay nice let's see full project okay let's move to layers left okay good nice and select this controller let's make new position and new rotation keyframe go to here and move to up and change rotation 
like this and go to here change rotation and move to down for loop animation let's select work area like this okay select keyframes go to graph editor and let's zoom graph select these graphs make smooth okay and in this time move to left these graphs okay let's move to right a little bit nice and select rotations go to graph editor and let's select this graph make smooth nice so let's select all these layers control hold control click a and click motion blur icon and enable here motion blur so thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel like video and please follow me on instagram good luck